Hello Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, because we're listening for what's for love. Yes, I hope you are doing super fantabulous, enjoying this fall. I don't know, we're still in summertime here. We, we were at the pool and, and just enjoying our life because guess what? We're still summertime in Houston, Texas, but hey, it is what it is, right? So welcome to my channel. If you're new, bienvenidos. I hope you like it here. And if you like tarot, and you like to know what's happening, and you like to have a good time, this is the place to be. Make sure you hit that like, that share, subscribe, and better yet, come hang out with me on Instagram. We go live on Tuesdays or Wednesdays, depending on little traffic, okay? Um, 5.36 p.m. Central Standard Time. Readings are 11.11 or 22.22. All right, with that being said, we're going to say thank you so much, guys. Thank you for hanging out with me. If you're a returning family member, you already know what's up. Big, big hugs, lots and lots of love, high fives, and some damn dirty shoulder rubs. All right, so we're going to go into a general oracle or general love, singles, couples, and all signs. So let's get into it. On, on October 2nd, we had the new moon solar eclipse in a Libra. Yes, and that energy is coming through to help you travel, make some decisions, moving forward, moving on. On the 9th, Jupiter retrograde, 21 degrees Gemini. On the 11th, Pluto. This little bitty planet that makes a lot of transformations is going direct 29 degrees Capricorn. What does 29 degrees Capricorn mean? That's a whole hell of a lot of Capricorn energy. That's what I'm going to say. So I'm going to say there's probably going to be a lot of transformations in your life, a lot of big changes, big decisions, big choices coming through, and you're going to want this to happen overnight, okay? It's like you want it now. On October 13th, Mercury enters into Scorpio, and on the 17th, we have the full moon in Aries. And it's going to be a blessing. And I want you to focus on what is really working out in your life right now. On that day, we also have Venus entering into Sagittarius. So those Sagittarius are going to look extra hella good. All right. And October 22nd, call up your favorite Scorpio. Let's go celebrate. Invite me. I'm always down for some drinks. All right. Let's go have a good time. So let's jump into your read. We have here, I did not pull your astro cards. Let me see what we got for your astro. Let's see. Astrologically, what do we have for you? The 11th house. The 11th house is a community house. It's the friendship house. The hidden enemies house. This is a very interesting energy to come through. What else is in the 11th house? Let me, let me look at my notes here. <coughs> Friends. <coughs> In <coughs> Internet. Okay, social media, recognitions, your hopes and your dreams, um, memberships. This is being activated also for you, okay? And the number 13 is coming in very strong with this. I'm going to write that down. So the 11th house could be affecting the way that you're moving forward. Maybe it's through a friendship group. Maybe it's through joining a new group and meeting a new group of people. All right? So pay attention to your 11th house. Your animal energy is la vibora. It's a snake, baby. So it says, live according to divine essence. So I'm just going to give you a message. For some of y'all, y'all are dealing with some really interesting energy. The snake isn't always negative. But I see these double sevens here. And for me, when I see double sevens, and this is for me, this is not for every reader, this means that somebody is lying about something. And you really know it with your higher power. So I'm going to say, trust your intuition this month. It is on freaking fire. Okay? Now, Thinking about the snake energy, it's time to shed the skin, it's time to move forward, it's time to get around, baby, get get around, raise that kundalini vibe, okay? Now, your message in love is to start really trusting your intuitive energies, Cap. You know something's off, you know something's not right, and yet you keep giving it a second, third, fourth, fifth, 29 chances, okay? We're not doing that anymore, all right? We want to move forward, especially foundationally. And I like how they have a, like a face in her stomach and then a face up here, like, you know, the eyes right here. You have to start tapping into this energy of trusting your gut, okay? Trust what you feel, Capricorn. You know what you're going through. So in love, the seventh house could be very important for you right now with this double seven, really looking at relationships, partnerships, paperwork with the partnerships, okay? Now, we have intricacies and industry. And here he's rebuilding something. I'm sorry, I dropped a plant outside, y'all. And I got dirt in my fingernails. I should have probably like taken care of that. But my plant had fallen and I needed to save him and put some water inside and take care of him. Because I think a little kitty cat knocked him over and I was a little upset. Anyways, we saved him. 
But this is about really laying a foundation, guys. And look, see the paperwork there? Paperwork's gonna be very important. If you're going into business with someone, if you're going into a relationship, we gotta talk the truth. We've got to really put things out there. Where do you stand? Because you want everything to be level. You want everything to start fresh. We don't wanna keep having to rebuild and rebuild. We wanna get it right the first time. And I, I just feel like there's a lot of legal things being discussed. There's a lot of things getting into balance. We are really looking at the nitty gritty. We want to make sure things are being taken care of. Some of y'all could be dealing with court cases, all right? So, just saying, you know, make sure that you read the fine print, love. All right. Important days so far is the 4th, the 7th, the 13th, and the 14th. And you know, it's so funny because I always listen to music when I'm shuffling, right? And, um... The song that was on when I was shuffling your cards and like organizing my thoughts was Poison by Belle Biv DeVoe, which my daughter has pointed out that that is my favorite song. <laughs> I guess it is. I don't know. But I was like, Poison and the Snake, okay? I just want you to go listen to that song, okay? Because it's a damn good song. Someone might be driving you out of your mind, okay? And you know it's hard for me to find. What? Ew! I love that song. Ah, okay, anyways. Poison, all right? Communicate. Overall, we need to start communicating. We need to compromise. We need to talk about intimacy. Where do we feel the most loved, okay? And the answer is yes. We need to get it all out there. And we are going towards commitment, okay? We want something with a commitment. We want to know. We want that higher love. But we need to communicate this with someone. Because we are definitely looking for higher love here. What does communicate says? We have faith. Love is coming, all right? You might have a surprise invitation. And intimacy within a karmic relationship. And I think like with karmic relationships, some people think, oh my gosh, this is a karmic. This is horrible. This is meant to teach us, right? If every relationship was supposed to be hunky-dory and super amazing, we would not evolve, grow, and learn about ourselves. So this is trying to teach you, in these intimate moments, what are you really wanting moving forward? What does yes say? <coughs> Keep choking. Reminiscing, you're making memories, and you're learning from the past. And with commitment, a sudden change. That can go either way, all right? I don't need to be the bearer of bad news, so I won't be. But it's either going to be, hey, let's get married, or hey, let's not, all right? But it's going to be a sudden shock and surprise. Keep me posted. Keep me posted. I have a lemon drop, sugar-free lemon drop, sugar cookie, vodka tonic. I just created it. It's so delicious. Okay, so delicious. I've been in the sun like all day. <coughs> and I'm coughing like crazy, so I'm sorry. All right, let's see here. We have the magician. Magical moments are coming through for you. We're holding on tight to something though, but we, we want the magic, but we're afraid. Oh, okay. And there's that tower with that karmic relationship, right? Underneath it is the tower moment. So there's something that you're getting triggered by, okay? Justice will be served. Those are those scales again. Remember, we had the scales here. Maybe there's something about July 11th for you also, okay? I don't, you know what? I don't know your life. I'm just telling you, okay? And let's see here. We have conflict, okay? So we have a really big magical things happening from the past, right? But we're holding on to something with the Four of Pentacles. Going into that tower moment, like we're like, whoa, are we really ready for this? Is this really what I want? Is this how I want to move forward? Justice is going to be done, but there is some form of a conflict coming, okay? And overall, we have a higher fit. So like I said, okay, like I said, it's either let's get married. We ain't getting no younger. We might as well do this. Or we got married a little too young, and we ain't going to be doing this, okay? <laughs> take what fits, and take the parts that fit, and leave the rest for someone else. So, 555 could be very important for you going into this month. <sighs> what does this tower want us to know? It's just meant to happen. There, There is something that is supposed to happen. It was just faded okay and the more you try to to stop this with the lovers so either you're really going to meet someone who like tickles your tail feather as they say or this is like one of those moments where you're having to decide what is our next move what do we do let's take a trip let's see what we want and the hierophant said get ready for love so just get ready for love however it's gonna show up 
All right. Okay. So I don't feel like that's a too bad of a, a message. And there was a lot of majors. The higher fence. Justice, the lovers, the will, and the tower, and the magician. One, two, three, four, five, six out of seven, eight, nine, ten. Big month. Big, big month. Okay, there is a major breakthrough. And maybe you're in a relationship where you're like having to make a decision on how you want to express yourself. That when you're in intimate moments, you like this and you want this and you like that. How do you tell somebody that? You're honest. You're very honest. You should just be honest with what it is that you truly want. And I think if we were to be real with, with ourselves, like with our own selves, we could be real with others. Instead of trying to feel that we have to um, be this person that we're not. All right. Okay, let's see. What do we have for our singles? And ready to what? Damn dirty mingle. Let's go on a trip, baby. Let's go. There's a lot about travel this month, all right? You're smitten. You're in love. Someone's been wished you. Been witched you. Bewitched you. <laughs> and your guardian angel is here. They want you to say a no to something. A no, 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 no. When is really yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know where that came from, but anyways. Guardian. Who is this guardian and what is the message? This guardian had a very interesting voice, all right? I get grandparent energy. I have elder ancestor energy, piercing eyes. They had like an acha nose is what my dad used to call it. Una acha means like a very pointy nose, all right? Very stable, more on the motherly side. Of the, we're going to go to their house. We're going to go to grandma's house. You used to get all excited, right? And then we have like, yeah, when you were little. I, I get that like... Yeah, the same for everybody. But the dates that are coming out are December 4th and December 13th. Um, there's also something about April 13th and April 12th and 4-4. Okay? So there's this energy around this, this person. And they're like, hey, I really love you. I really want the best for you. Just, you know, just take your time. Take your time. All right. What is this vacation about? Somebody is love bombing, okay? We're dealing with someone who is like super strong in this energy. And someone is like hiding, hiding. Very narcissistic energy, gaslighting personality. And what does your guardian say about this? Dude, they just wish that you would answer the phone to someone who really loves you. That was weird. And make healthier choices. Some of y'all need to watch your diet too. Which why are you eating so high in cholesterol, okay? Anyways, I feel like your loved one, you know, that came out for Aquarius, that came out for Leo, and I have Aquarius, Leo, and Cancer energy here. Um, but this individual, I, okay, I'm just going to channel for a minute. He used to look forward to phone calls with this person, and they had an old school phone, like an old school phone, like, you know, the rotary ones that you had to pick up or you had to die, like, it was an old school phone, and, um... There was something about every time they called, you talk about making cookies, baking something, making something, and there was so much excited, excitement you couldn't go back. You couldn't wait to go back over there. There was a garden in the backyard. There was flowers. Y'all would like plant things together. It was like a very home life, like very warm setting. Okay, let me get out of there or I'll be there forever. Let's see what's going on. Oh, wrong deck. Singles, singles, ready to mingle. Okay. Whew, that was strong. I'm going to stop. You used to go on trips to go visit them. Like, they didn't live close to you. You had to travel a ways to get there. There was something, okay, and I'm looking at the images. A mirror, looking in the mirror. Um, they would wear, the, you would always send pictures of your Halloween costume or Halloween was a big deal for you guys. She always wanted to dress you up. It was exciting. But there was something about the phone call. Okay, let me know if that connects. So here we have the Six of Swords. You're moving on. You're moving forward. You're trusting your intuition. You're really getting into like trusting things right now. Trusting yourself. There's that Empress energy. So I do think that like some of y'all are wondering, does this person have someone else? And I think they do. Okay, that's not for everybody, but I really think that they do. Okay. 
we're we're really ready to get out there we're ready to move forward and there's a lot about like let's go on a family event let's go do this and it's a tough choice for you with the two of wands <clears throat> so you know you need to move on from something I want to say you were supposed to go on a trip with this person they never really told you if y'all were going or not and you're just like okay I guess we're not whatever you're you want to be happy three of wands with the queen of cups this is the energy of you really wanting to feel, feel nurtured there's a lot of nurturing love the empress the queen of cups the high priestess it's like you know what you deserve there's that chariot energy there's a trip definitely a trip is coming through 721 could have been very important and treating you like the world. This person is like, oh my gosh, I'm so lucky to have you. There, It could have like a lot of Cancerian energy also. It's really interesting. The Empress wants you to know the Queen of Swords. Not everybody can have that part of you, Capricorn. That loving, kind, uh, you know, like that soft side that you don't show everybody. Not everyone can get that from you. But you're ready for passion. You're ready to move forward with the Knight of Wands. And you're tired of people taking from you. So it's like, look, I, I really want to move forward. I have the Knight of Wands and the Knight of Cups. You could be dealing with someone who said they didn't want to be in a relationship. Or they did and they're not acting right. Okay? And you're leaving behind that Knight of Cups vibe. You're like, nope, I'm good. I'm going to go. Eight of Wands, I'm leaving on a jet plane. The number 80 could be very important, okay? And I kind of feel like this person is just like a player. Like, it's no fun, okay? And then we have the Page of Pentacles by the Ten of Pentacles. And this image is like overdoing it, over, like, uh, just, yeah, and you're letting it go. You're letting it go. And you have to make a decision with the Hierophant. Okay, you have to make a decision. Two of Wands, Hierophant kind of vibe. So you're making a choice here. You're really making a choice. And you're having to move forward. Uh, there's, there's a couple of energies that I'm picking up on. You thought that this was going to be great. You're going to meet the family. They're going to meet your family. Everything's going so good. And then they cut you off, they leave you hanging, and you're like, you know what, I'm good. I'm going to go ahead and go do what I want to do anyways. I'm going to take this trip by myself. I'm going to go hang out. I'm going to go do me. And when they see that you're back at that Ten of Pentacles, when they see that you're off and grooving and enjoying yourself and living your best life, they um, have realized, now I want to come back. You're not going to let this come back. I think there's also an energy at work where people are talking about you. You're doing a great job. People really like you. But there's something about July 21st, 1980. The hell? Okay, we're going to just leave that there. <clears throat> this is not a personal reading. But I don't know what July 21st, 1980 means. But okay. If that was for you, please let me know. It, this is like one of those dream, like a, <clears throat> this person that made you think that they were going to love you forever and hold you on this pedestal, they're not. And you're figuring that out and you're moving forward and you're not going to deal with it anymore and it doesn't even matter because you have decided to move on, Okay. You're going to go do you, and you're not going to worry about them. So let's get some clues about who is a good match for you this month. Who is a good match for our beautiful um, Capricorn? That was a rough one, okay? And I do think there's something about traveling. <clears throat> the grave. So this person could have dark hair and dark eyes, very angular jaw, okay? Cancer energy. So we got Scorpio Cancer, very curvy, very sexy. We got another Cancer right here. 723 could be important. There's something about July and August. Anyways, um, the moon, very old school Hollywood look, clear, beautiful skin, more Cancer energy. And then we have 
right here, the tree, the green eyes, healthy, tall, Capricorn. Cancer again with the house, okay? Built like a brick house, strong, solid energy. This person is very attractive. You know, colored eyes, possibly darker hair, okay? What does the grave want us to know? The, ga, 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 what is this? The yoga. This is being very flexible. This person's very much into working out. They could work the graveyard shift or the night shift, the fourth shift, something like that, okay? 13th could be important. <laughs> La deep peak, okay? By the snake. <laughs> they're like, um, they're very sexy, okay? This person's very sexy and they want to they wanna have sexy time. Okay, the moon with L internship. So I do think that there could be a military presence. This person could be in the military. They could be, you know, retired from it. They also like to stay up. They like to drink coffee. They might ask you out for coffee. And there's something about the color green. This person could wear a lot of green. All right. And then we have La Coachella. So this person has a very, they're very different from you. Um, and I do think that they're not going to show up empty handed. Um, strong Aries energy with El Valiente right here. The number 33 could be important. And I do feel like there's a lot of messaging. I do think this person is going to send you a lot of pictures. Maybe some inappropriate pictures to get you in your feels. But they're, they're good people. All right? They're good people. Let's get some initials. Good people. We got O, I, I, R, Rio, Oreo. I don't know. We got an Iris maybe. A Riri, a Ronald, oh Ronald, okay? So, very interesting energy going in there. And for those who are in not communication with someone that they want to talk to, what do we have here? We have unsatisfied. Um, I wasn't happy the way things were going. They're already going to be committed to someone else. And they feel like they feel really guilty for breaking your heart. And they regret it. They wish that they would have handled it very differently. Um, I don't think that... Um, I think they broke a commitment with you. They want to make things right. They want to hold on to the past. And they always feel your energy around them. And they do still think about you. But I feel like this person has moved on. This person has moved on. And they're, they feel really bad for what they did. All right, let's look at couples. Let's see what's going on with the couples. What do we got here? I feel like I'm talking too much. I'm sorry, Capricorn. Cap, what do we got for our couples? We have, I got a confession. All right, Usher, go sit down. Be patient, all right? Be patient and give it time. Well, damn, okay? And if it's not giving you what you want, boo baby, it's time to what? I should move on. All right. We're just going to keep it moving. So what is this confession about for our caps that are in relationship? Seduction. There is a third party. Maybe your person's attracted to someone else or maybe someone's really attracted to them. Or hell, maybe someone's really attracted to you. Damn it. Like, I'm sure you look hella fight good. Right? What do we got here? Okay. Then we have patience with the poker face. Someone doesn't really want to tell you the truth about what's really going on or what's happening around them and they're acting like everything's okay, but we're just going to give it time and we're going to let it play out, okay? Give it time if you're feeling very separate right now and move on says you might be looking at old pictures of someone, someone's playing nostalgic memories in your mind, all right? What kind of love message is that? Like what is going on? You really miss somebody. Oh, my goodness. Why are your cards flying? So, we have here, your person's feelings are five of pentacles. Your person could be going through, like, dark night of the soul. They feel like everybody's freaking happy but them. Oh, they miss you, Cap. Bye. I'm just like... They are thinking about the eight of pentacles, how much work it's going to take, how much work they're going to put into it. How do they see you as the queen of swords? You're a cold hearted snake. I'm just like, <laughs> they're like, damn, Cap, like, you're just so decisive over there. Are you sure you don't want to hang out? And Cap's like, did you even call? Anyways, how are they acting? Ten of swords. I don't know what your person did, but they is having some money issues. They life ain't going right, and they're sad. 
The Page of Wands comes between y'all. So either that's a child or a new opportunity. And the Four of Wands. We are just like, we want to celebrate. And here's the Queen of Cups. And she's like, wait, wait. What you want? <laughs> I'm just going to drink my coffee. I'm going to live my best life. Okay? I'm not going to worry about it. And she's looking at the Eight of Pentacles. Like... Yeah, you, you need to put some work in. You, you need to go put that work in, boo, okay? You need to work overtime. Cap is not playing with these people, okay? Cap is not playing. Why are they feeling like the Five of Pentacles? Oh, the Empress. Because I'm going to tell you this. For some of y'all who are going through a really hard time and there is a court case because of possibly like child support or something, they're like, damn it, Cap, how the hell do you do it? How do you make this happen? I don't understand how you always come out on top. And I almost want to say, like, your person is so afraid that you've changed, that you're not the same Capricorn they used to know. Why are they acting like this? I told you, 555, five, five, the Eight of Pentacles wants you to know the High Priestess. Look, you got the High Priestess and the Empress in the other one. And that for singles. And I have the, now I have the Empress and then the High Priestess. Whenever I see the Empress and the High Priestess, there's two messages in a relationship. Either there's another person trying to get in the, in the relationship, whether it's a mother-in-law, the other woman, or man. I got nothing, okay? Somebody trying to slip in, okay? Influence. Now, I also get in this situation, it's like they don't understand. Like, it's like you're freaking psychic, Cap. They're like, how do you know everything I'm going to do before I do it? And you're like, because I just know everything, okay? Yeah, they think you're psychic, the moon. The moon with the queen of swords and the wheel. There is, all, good lord, my cards are not want to say my hands. There's something also about you going like on a trip. Like you're going on a trip, you want to go on a trip, or you're leaving without them. You're just like, look, I gotta go. Like, <sighs> Cap, they, you're just like, no. And here's the king of swords. They feel like y'all are not talking like you should. You're the queen. They're the king with the ten of swords. And who would I say? Somebody mama in the background talking about, you want some milk and cookies? Why don't y'all come over for dinner? No. We don't want to eat that. Okay. And there's a magician trying to make something out of nothing. There's a lot of miscommunication going on. The page of wands. Somebody feels very bored in this relationship. She's like, is that, is that all you got? I need you streaming from the chandeliers or something. We got the page of wands here. We got a damn lizard in our hands. And yeah, three of swords. Someone is very much hurt by a situation, okay? A, a very in interesting situation. And I don't like to always go to cheating, right? Because it's not always cheating. Sometimes in relationships, you have... People from the family who want to tell you how you should be together. You have friends who are like, oh, your, your partner doesn't let you do that. Shut the hell up and go to your own relationship, okay? It's like an energy that's trying to intercede in here. You end with the knave of, you end with the page of wands. The knave and the page are the same. The passion with the four of wands. You're going to get that loving feeling back. Justice will be served. Look, I'm going to be real with you. I do see some of y'all going through courts. I do see a divorce. I do see like a separation. And for others, I see that you're going to pull it out because everybody is in different cycles. And then I have here, look, divine pair again, the emperor with the queen of cups. Empress down here. Give me one more. And strength. Look, Cap, you want it to work? You got to put in the work. They got to put in the work. Relationships are not easy. I do see giving it time over a separation and really weighing things out. It is going to take a lot of work. And it's going to take a lot of work of honesty and communication. So in this situation where somebody is feeling like completely bamboozled and put out to the side, we've got to be honest and real about what's going on. And, and are you going to be honest and real? Are you going to be real, Capricorn? Are you going to say that hurts? That doesn't feel right? I don't like it. What are you going to do? Because this person is, this person is like shutting down. And their communication skills of freaking suck. Okay? They suck. The third, the fourth, the seventh, the tenth, the thirteenth, fourteenth, 
and the twenty first because that's what came to my head right now five 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 eight 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 is gonna be important there is a form of like feeling like really hurt by this person or you're hurt by them they're hurt by you something of that nature it has to do with finances or withholding information and someone is trying to get in the mix okay i'm you know what if that ain't for you kick it to the curb boo because i i don't know your life i don't know you i'm just telling you what i see okay let's get any hidden clues for you anything that capricorn needs to be aware of this month information with the journal secrets are coming out about a social outing or something out in the in, in the society in the society or someone is a very social person that you're like out and they bring you this new information and there's a partnership about a man you're gonna be very peaceful it's like almost gonna bring peace into the situation for you but be prepared okay if I could talk and I stop coughing in your read there is a confession there is something coming in new information coming out pay attention to the 20th let's get some guidance let's get some guidance I'm getting so sleepy I might have to go take a nap the sun got me y'all Son, always be getting me. It's probably the run I had to. But running and all kinds of like I got all this energy. The temple is coming out. There's no place like home. We really need to watch our digestion this month. I'm telling you, you gotta make healthier choices. You need to check your diet. And I do think affirmations are going to be needed. And stop believing the hype. If your intuition says they're a liar, they're a liar, friend. Okay? Looking for other possibilities in the home. I do think there's some home repairs also, especially going into the month of December. Your throat and your stomach. You got to watch what's going in, boo. All right. And there's a lot of indecisions uh, coming forward for you. You do have high anxiety. I do think that it might be really important. If you, if you do find yourself super anxious, magnesium, L-theanine, um, chamomile tea, but the real one, you know, and some breathing exercises might be really good for you. I feel like you're overworking your solar plexus, like you're very stressed out. And a lot of it is being held in your throat because you're not speaking your truth. Okay. And if that's not for you, it's not for you. All right. It's cool. What, what else? Who cares? Let's see what's going on in those beautiful relationships of ours. This is a part of the read where we go Aries to Pisces. All right, we don't even talk anymore. That's your song. Anyways, King of Cups says, I want to be in love. And then another part of you says, but I don't want to let anyone in. Whoo, you're just a tough cookie to crack. <laughs> what is wrong, friend? What is going on with you? Tough cookie to crack, Aquarius. But you got a divine pair, okay? We got the set. This number 777 seven, seven is going to be important, okay? Just wait and see, baby. Just wait and see. All right, there we go, number 16. All right, here you are, Cap. You're not feeling yourself. The devil is reversed. You don't even, you don't want to play this game no more. And Aries is all out of love. So we're not in love, but we do have someone who's like, wait, maybe I am. I do think that for you, Cap, you're not sure if you want to be vulnerable with this person. The six could be important. You're not feeling very confident right now. And Taurus is having some issues at work. And the solution is we got to be honest about it. Especially with that double seven seven there. Okay. You got to really tell Taurus like what's up. Okay. The first could be important. Here all your cards are reversed. Here you are. You're not listening to your spirit guides. It's showing you all the damn dirty red flags of Gemini. And you're like yeah I think they're... I think they're okay. That was a business trip. They're all right. That's nothing. Something's being revealed to you, and you don't want to believe it. The runner chaser vibe. I think you like the chase with Gemini, but Gemini's like Gemini is like throwing you all the red flags, and you're just picking them up and making a scarf and a sweater and a hat. Okay. 
All right, Cap, you are successful. You're feeling good. You're thinking about the future, and Cancer is out being a skitty wag, okay? Just out running the streets and letting everybody come through, okay? They're letting everybody come through. And I don't feel like they're being very honest about how they really feel. The 19th. And, and if you're with a cancer, I almost feel like they let somebody come in the house they weren't supposed to. Don't go fight. That's just what I get. And that might not be for you, okay? Anyways. Here you are, ready to take your time, ready to take your time, little take it easy. Actually, you're leaving the situation. And Leo's like, bye. Get out. There's a lot of manipulation going on between you and a Leo, and I think you are done giving them your best. You're like, I'm leaving the read. Lucky day is the sixth. All right, here you are. You're very vulnerable, okay? And Virgo is being very rude with their words, and we're no longer meeting in the middle. This is not something that's meeting in the middle for you, okay? The seventh could be important. I don't know. Maybe you've seen seven, seven, seven. Look, you being fair, you're on your justice shit, okay? You're standing on business over here. And Libra said, I'm spying. I'm going to tell your mama. <laughs> I feel like almost like someone is like willing to do whatever they need to do. There could also be like an uneven exchange in energy or money. The 17th could be important. You're not trusting your intuition, High Priestess Reverse. And Scorpio is making a lot of promises about a betrayal all right and trust your intuition the seventh could be important here you are you're listening to your spirit guide today and sagittarius is trying to be in love they're like look i'm bringing you a gift i want to bring you a baby a baby baby they love you they want to go half on a baby with you but you feel like something's not enough like what if what if we don't have enough money what if this what if that what if we do it and we're going to be okay on the 10th okay you don't want to talk. You don't even want to listen. And the other Capricorn wants to be by themselves. Nine of Pentacles. And we are happy with that. <laughs> like Y'all are like, good, I'm good. You're good, I'm good. 19th could be important. Here you are as the two of Pentacles. You are in balance, making changes, baby. Doing the right thing. And Aquarius is Aquarian over here, okay? They're being very clear and direct with their words. And we need to talk finances. We need to really get our finances together, and that would help the relationship. The first could be important. <sighs> Here you are, icky, quicky, sicky, with the eight of wands. And Pisces says, let's have a baby. This makes me think zygote action. Woo okay, I'm getting a little too excited. And yeah, we're healing. Yes, we're going to talk about it. We're going to move forward. You and Pisces are going to make it happen, baby. It's going to work out. Lucky day, the 18th. All right, love bugs. I hope y'all have an amazing month. I will try to get some more reads out. Let me know if y'all want me to read on anything is special, all right? And I hope that you are blessed, you walk in favor, and you come hang out with me on Instagram. Take care. Bye.